Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with Redefine Horizons, and uh, I'm in my pajamas, rocking my pajamas, but I need to do a quick video for my Cat Ninja in training, Austin. So I'm going to show them how to set up Bricks CAD to do, uh, to enter or draw lines by bearing distance. So the first thing we want to do is go to our units. So if you type units, pull up your settings dialog with your units section. There's a couple things we want to do here on Angular units. We want to set it to surveyor's units. Then we want to say um, the angle base here we want to set to 270. Okay. And then we want to check this clockwise because that's how surveyors measure angles. Okay, and just to check that, you can draw a line in the northwest quadrant and then click it. And you just want to make sure your angle here says northwest with the degrees and the minutes. You can probably get the seconds on there too. Let's see if we can do that. So go back into units on your precision here. We're going to make that four or five decimal, four or five digits past the decimal. Okay, now when we get that, we should get the, uh, now we're getting the seconds. Okay. So, once you get those units set, you should be able to draw your lines that way. So, uh, you just click the, the line command. Uh, or, or uh, enter L or, or click line on the ribbon. Pick your start point of your line, okay? And then what you want to do is you want to say at whatever your distance is. So let's say it's 150 feet, okay? Then you're going to do the angle sign, okay? Or the lesser than symbol. And then you're going to type in your bearing like this. So if we want to do, let's say we're going to do south west. So we're going to go south, 32D for degrees, 12 uh, minutes, 42 seconds east, so that's how you enter the bearing, okay, I don't know if that worked, let's try that again, so we're going to go at 150, angle south, 32 degrees, 12 minutes, 42 seconds east, Okay, so I just drew that line here. Okay, so then you can click it, and if you have your unit set up, you can check it. So here we go, south, 32, 12, 42 east. Okay, so that works. Let me do one more. We'll do one in the southwest quadrant. So run the line command, click to start. We're going to go at, this time we're going to do 245 feet. Okay, put in the angle symbol. Then we're going to go south. We're going to go 22 degrees, 22 minutes, 22 seconds west. And then we're going to just grab that line and check it. South 22, 22, 22 west. Alright, so if you're a surveyor and you're using BricsCAD, that will help you input lines by bearing distance. And uh, yeah, I'll, do, I'll do some more Kogo videos for BricsCAD, but uh, that, that's a quick video for my buddy Austin.